Hello guys, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And in today's video, it is an ERV logistics category video on my YouTube channel. And I am going to explain why or what I may be ending up doing in the near future if this rulemaking that's just like the AB5 on California that may go nationwide is going to happen. Now, I'm not going to get into detail about what this new rulemaking proposal is. It's just going to be just like the AB5. Instead, I'm going to have links in the description below about this rulemaking and you guys can check them out. But basically, here's some things that may happen to me uh, if this AB5 law will affect every, every state in the United States. So here's what's going to happen. One, either I'm going to stay exactly where I'm at, nothing's going to happen, and I'm going to actually buy my own semi-truck and either be still a company driver or buy my own semi-truck and lease onto a carrier. Two, uh, with this new rulemaking, I could end up actually being classified that I, I have to at least rent my own equipment to be considered independent contractor owner operators so basically I will have to pay rent to be uh, independent contractor to still be on a 1099 instead of being a low paid trucking employee uh, third what's gonna happen I'm actually gonna get fired because the trucking companies all around the United States will simply not be able to afford $500 a week to pay uh, their employees you have benefits and all other things so basically a lot of companies if this happened will be a one-man team they're gonna have one truck one trailer and that's it and they're gonna sell off their equipment so that's what's gonna happen I will actually get fired and actually look for other ways in trucking and if I do get fired here's some things gonna happen I'm gonna have to buy my own truck and trailer and somehow find the cheapest possible insurance and run my own load to do my own gig uh, and that's gonna be really hard so we'll, the future is uncertain about what I'm going to do. Two, what I think about doing is actually similar to trucking, I'm still going to be in the freight business and this will actually help me uh, gain experience and get cheaper insurance so I can move back to being a semi truck driver, but actually buy a Sprinter van and do expedited freight. Uh, you still it, you, you still will be have to under this new uh, rule still have to go on your own so i'm still gonna have to get an mc number at dot and insurance uh my own insurance but it's gonna be cheaper because owning and being an expedited driver for or expedited company on a sprinter van is gonna be way cheaper because usually uh depending what uh sprinter van you get you get it can't be over seventy thousand dollars it's anywhere from 30 to a hundred thousand dollars but it shouldn't be over 70 to buy one depending if you buy new or used operating costs can be a little cheaper your fuel is going to be cheaper but it's not going to be as reliable as a semi truck but because of that insurance is going to be higher because most i mean uh, lower sorry because most of the time when you own a sprinter van you only fit maybe maybe up to three expedited pallets and Pallets usually don't cost over a hundred thousand dollars. So you honestly probably get insurance policy for twenty thousand dollar freight That's basically my opinion So basically I'll buy a sprinter van make a sleeper in the back of the sprinter van legally and everything and find a Service that offers dispatch uh, for a fee. So they'll be just like uh, I'll be like the customer for them to dispatch me. That's the way it's gonna be because then you won't be you won't be able to lease on to a dispatch company anymore. That is one plan because I plan to stick around the freight industry for quite a while. And another idea is if none of that works, I'm going to have to become in the, an independent contractor under these subjects. I'm going to have to open up another business or use the same one and be either a plumber, electrician, and a mechanic or whatever I decide to do at some of these things. I may have to go to a uh, trade school or co a technical college to get a certificate if I depending on what I decide to go for if that happens because unless I find a job that pays minimum $25 an hour I don't think I want to switch to a company that pays me $18 an hour because in today's economy in order to be in a family uh, to have your own family basically the husband and wife both have to work in order to make ends meet because if you make $18 an hour and the average what uh, uh, rent is $1,500 a month 
Uh, basically, you're going to end up bare minimum of savings, or not even that, you'll be at zero, you'll be stretched out thin. So basically, that is what's going on currently. I have put a hold right now to buying a semi-truck, unlike what I announced in my channel that I'm starting to look for a semi-truck or the best options for me. Even though I was actually, literally a week ago, I was serious of getting a loan and buying a semi-truck, but now I'm going to have to put that to a hold and see where this law actually takes effect and what's happening. And whether or not I could afford to go on my own or what's going to happen or what I just described. So yeah guys, um, thank you for watching this channel uh, or this video and I hope you, do subs uh, you are subscribed. But basically, I will announce what's going to be going on in my career and my other thing is hopefully my youtube career does kick off in a lot better way and i'm out of you thanks for watching i'm signing off not canceled. Hey guys i'm eddie b Driving a temp in the sex series.